Okay, thank you for watching. So what I'm hoping to show you is how I made a fairly cheap, inexpensive ball stop barrier to, you know, keep lacrosse balls from rolling in the street and down the track and just kind of wanted to share this with with you guys and, you know, maybe you can find it something like this useful. So it's basically a PVC frame with deer netting, plastic polyurethane deer netting as the barrier. So it's about 10 feet wide and about seven and a half feet tall. And because it's made of PVC pipe, it's very, very lightweight. So this one's already been made. I kind of want to walk over here and show you the supplies I have to kind of make another one. So this began as a hundred foot long roll of deer net. I've actually made that 10 foot one that I just showed you and I also made one that was 20 feet wide. I can show you the, the pros and cons of the 20 foot one later. So what I have is three pieces of 10 foot long PVC pipe, one inch diameter. And then I have one piece of 10 foot long PVC pipe, half an inch diameter. As far as the fittings go, it's all pretty, it's pretty simple. I have a four-way, one-inch diameter, two of those fittings right there. And I have two elbows, one-inch diameter, but then the other end reduces down to a half an inch diameter. And I have some zip ties, hacksaw to cut down the PVC pipe, uh, some glue. PVC pipe glue and just a pair of sharp pliers or scissors, something to cut the deer net. All right, I'm going to stop the video for a moment and make some progress on this, and then I'll pick up in a moment. Okay, let's see if I can give you an update. So I had three 10 foot long, one inch diameter pieces of PVC. Nothing scientifically fancy here. I just kind of lined the bottom of the PVC up and laid it down on top of the deer, the deer mesh, the deer net, and just with the hacksaw, just kind of cut two of them. And there's one of the pieces. So the third piece is still untouched. So I'm just gonna move this third piece out of the way. Eventually I'll need it. But I cut two pieces of those PVC pipes. And here you can see what I did on the other end. So this is actually going to be the top of the deer net. I used one of the elbows and added PVC glue. And then I braided the half inch diameter PVC, 10 foot long, half inch diameter. I braided every three or four squares in and out, in and out, in and out. This will prevent the, uh, the wall, the net, from sagging. So every three or four squares, I just braided in and out, in and out, in and out, and there's the end. It's 10 foot long. So all I'm going to do now is the same thing. I'll take my other elbow that I have, and I'll take my glue, and, you know, put some glue on the inside, glue it on. And eventually then, we'll take the other piece of one inch PVC that I cut and kind of snap everything together. Again, put some glue in here. Put some of that blue PVC glue in here so it snaps on. I'm gonna pause it, make some progress. Okay, so you can see I've made a whole lot of progress. I've gone ahead and zip tied the deer net mesh every foot or so to the PVC pipe. You don't have to do that along the top because you've braided the top rail every three or four squares. And now here's where I left off in the previous mo uh, segment. So I've gone ahead and glued the elbow and added the opposite rail and notice I've already now cut the deer net and zip tied again about every foot or so to the other PVC pipe. So if I stand back, 
use your imagination if this thing were standing straight up and it's not ready yet but it'll be about seven and a half feet tall and about ten feet wide so now I got to put the bottom of the bone or the bottom of the of the wall together so I have my four-way PVC fitting you imagine it's just gonna snap on I'll add some glue of course and the last piece of 10 foot long one inch diameter PVC pipe will be at the bottom that way no balls will slip underneath it you know, and kind of defeat the purpose of of building the the wall here so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video make some progress and I'll pick up in just a few moments okay so made some real progress and the frame of the backstop is virtually done you can see I simply glued the four-way PVC and the one inch diameter PVC pipe together and in these holes will be the legs so the wall will stand up and not topple over and you can see I just zip tied all the way along the bottom and I thought about braiding all the way along the bottom like I did all the way along the top but this is one inch diameter PVC and along the top is a is half inch diameter so I thought uh, the one inch was a little thick the one inch PVC it'll fit through the holes of the fence I just didn't like uh, you know put a lot of stress and tension on the fence and I thought it'd be maybe more maybe more likely to rip so I just zip tied it in a moment I'll clip off the ends of the zip ties and remember when we cut the 10 foot long one inch diameter PVC's so here are the leftover pieces and which will conveniently conveniently be two legs now I still have to cut two more legs for the other support but uh, very easy to do and once I'm done it should be standing up and ready to show you the final product so I'll be right back okay so I think I have a finished product here so you know the two pieces of PVC that we cut down I just took those two scraps and inserted one into each of the open ends of the four-way connector and so that will support this one leg or this one beam but then on the other side I did something different I was kind of experimenting with this the other day you know some of my kids kind of have a hard time pulling out the legs whenever we have to take them down and put them in storage or just take them down and put them in storage is just leaning, leaning them up against the fence out of the way but some of them have a hard time pulling out some of our kids have a hard time pulling out the PVC legs right there so what I did was I bought a piece of three-quarter inch PVC and you can see because it's three-quarter inch it just slides right through the one inch diameter and out the other end so I've been kind of experimenting with this to see if this will work as a good support and I think it will just in this case I probably cut this piece a little too short maybe another few inches longer would have been better but there you go I have a 10 foot barrier ball stopper to keep lacrosse balls out of the street obviously you can use it for however you feel now one of the cons of this I've discovered is I put it next to the goal the lacrosse goal and you know if we shot wide my thinking was the ball would hit the barrier and we wouldn't have to go chasing very far the problem is is we have some pretty strong shooters on the team and their shot kind of tore a hole through the the mesh here so probably not a good idea if you're looking to build this to put right directly behind the goal to keep balls uh, to keep your shots closer to the goal but if you want to use this to keep balls out of the neighbor's yard in my case to keep balls out of the street to keep balls from you know rolling down the track and rolling away you know it's pretty helpful At the beginning of the video I mentioned that I made a 20 foot long piece as well and here it is again when we take them apart we just lean them up against the fence so here is the 20 foot long 
Notice the legs are not attached currently because we just pulled the legs off and leaned it up against the fence to store it. But here you have a 10 foot long section with a five way, a five way middle support PVC fitting and then another 10 foot long section so 20 feet long total. You still have the elbow with the one inch diameter and then the half inch reducer. I still braided back and forth. And then in the middle, I don't know what you call this connector, but uh, a T connector. Again, it's also a reducer. This is a one inch diameter and this is a half inch and a half inch reduced diameter so I think it's just called a T connector and then again braided the half inch PVC and there's the other elbow and it works great once it's up um, it it's light it's but it still kind of takes three people to carry it one person holding each post because if you put one person on the far post one person on one end and another person on the other end because it is PVC, it'll sag in the middle and it just kind of wobbly. It's not very stable to carry. But everything's glued together. Pieces aren't going to fall apart. So maybe have three people carry it just for ease of carrying. And then you snap on the legs. Two legs on the left side. Two legs in the middle. And two legs on the right. And now this is a 20 foot long barrier. So... Yeah, you know, make them however long you want. Just the longer they are, the harder they're going to be to move. So there's my homemade ball stop that I use with my lacrosse kids to, you know, keep balls out of the streets and uh, hopefully not have to chase so much. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.